Hello Clare House, my name is George Fulton and I'm here today to tell you why I believe I'm the right person for the crucial role that is Head of Communications at Clare House, or as I like to call it, Storyteller in Chief. My background and experience is in broadcast journalism, both here in the UK as well as in Pakistan, and I've produced programmes such as The Politics Show and Hard Talk Pakistan and Question Time Pakistan for the BBC and BBC World. The experience in Pakistan shows how I'm able to fashion messages and reach audiences from very different backgrounds. I wrote and presented a series called George Car Pakistan or George's Pakistan for a national broadcaster in the country. And this series explored what it means to be a Pakistani at the turn of the 21st century. Okay, everyone, this is George Fulton. Okay, you are completely on your own. We're not going to be helping you, we'll be facilitating you. And something you must remember is that you only have three months to become a Pakistani. And in the show, I visited the breadth and length of Pakistan and I did everything from working the fields with the farmers in the Punjab to building and making weapons with uh, Pakhtuns in the northwest of Pakistan. Good Comms is about understanding your audience and understanding how to impact them with your message. And I did that in Pakistan. I understood the culture and the language and in return I had an impact on my audience and I was embraced by the people of Pakistan. <laughs> <laughs> Furthermore, I've produced and presented human interest stories. These are the kinds of stories that Clare House needs to be telling to resonate with their donors, with volunteers, as well as the public at large. My wife and I uh, produced and presented a morning show in Pakistan in which we tackled lots of human interest stories. When telling these stories, you need to balance lots of um, conflicting uh, issues. So on the one hand, you need to be sensitive to the people and families whose stories you're telling. And yet at the same time, you need to ensure that you are telling a story that is both engaging and that resonates with the public at large. One such human interest story we raised concerned jail kids in Pakistan. These are children born to mothers who are imprisoned whilst pregnant. And these children grow up never experiencing life outside of the prison walls. And we decided to highlight this issue to a national audience, whilst at the same time we gave the kids an opportunity to, to experience life outside the prison walls. It was a feel-good story, yet at the same time we raised a serious question. Should Pakistan be imprisoning children for the crimes of their mother? Take a look at this clip from the show we aired back in 2009. One of the girls just said to, to, to us, stop him, he's driving very fast. <laughs> Face painting, magic show, or mazedar burgers. हम वापस जेल की तरफ जा रहे थे और एक भरपूर दिन गुजारने के बावजूद हमें ऐसा लग रहा था कि जैसे आज का दिन कुछ जल्दी खत्म हो रहा हो अब जेल आ गया था एक बार फिर वो ही आयन का गेट जिसकी दूसरी तरफ बच्चों की वो महदूद दुनिया थी बच्चे हमें खुदाफिज कहते हुए जेल के अंदर की तरफ जा रहे थे and I hope it's been a special day for the kids and one that they'll remember for many years to come. Because I know for Kieran and myself, this is one day we will certainly remember for many years to come. Different issues require different forms of communication in order to reach different audiences. So plucking heartstrings with a human interest story is effective for one audience, but leaves another audience cold. Making one laugh with biting satire is effective for another type of audience. 
Here's a show I produced and wrote called News, Views and Confused, which satirised the foibles of politicians and the issues of terrorism, bureaucracy, corruption and nepotism. And this, we used humour to resonate with a different audience, and that was until our show was uh, pulled off air and our phones were tapped. Take a look. Welcome to News, Views and Confused, a topical quiz show that looks to dissect the week's news in an amusing and entertaining manner, and proves that, despite living under a military dictatorship, satire is alive and well in Pakistan. <laughs> Richard Gere film titles and President Musharraf's life have enormous similarities. Gere starred in Pretty Woman. Musharraf married a pretty woman. Gere starred in An Officer and a Gentleman. Musharraf is an officer and a gentleman. <clears throat> Gear starred in American <laughs> <laughs> Broadcasting is not the only medium I've experienced in. I've written opinion pieces for The Guardian, as well as Pakistan's Express Tribune, an affiliate to the International Herald Tribune and The New York Times. I've also written more in-depth analysis for Foreign Affairs magazine. External communications is about telling the right message to the right audience, at the right time, and through the right channel. Whilst old media is still relevant, obviously the future is digital, and social media is one such platform. Especially when you consider that over eight out of 10 adults now go online on a regular basis. Back in 2011, I integrated social media channels and digital opportunities as part of a communication strategy whilst I was a consultant at the British Council. We had a marketing budget of over £150,000 and I made the strategic decision to reduce our spending on traditional media, radio, TV adverts, etc., and increase it on digital and social media content. This actually allowed for greater and more focused targeting of our key demographic, students who were looking to take English language IELTS exams. This action resulted in a market share increase of 10% in our favour within six months. And it proved that digital is a key component for any comm strategy. That said, external communications is only as good as your internal communications. I've experienced of overseeing internal comms for several charitable organisations, including the British Council, the Qatar Foundation, as well as the Atlantic Partnership. Use of the internet, mass emails, town hall meetings, e-newsletters are all vital tools to ensure that you are communicating the values and key messages of the organisation to all your internal stakeholders. My background in media and public relations has also given me extensive experience in dealing with crisis communications. So for example, whilst at the Atlantic Partnership, I successfully fought a regulatory compliance case raised by the Charity Commission here in the UK against AP, whilst ensuring that their name and the matter was kept out of the media. I've had substantial experience in a senior communications role and have a strategic mindset that my MBA has further enhanced. The head of communications role for Clare House will require implementing a holistic communications strategy for the organisation that delivers consistency of message and tone across all its operations, be they the shops, fundraising, the hospice itself, as well as its digital platforms. I also would like to explore how Clare House can widen its, um, uh, its reach and attract a different target audience so that it can reach audiences that it has never reached before. Furthermore, the communications role will be crucial in positioning Clare House within the third sector's competitive landscape Clare House needs to communicate a distinct value proposition from that of its, both its competitors here in the Northwest as well as nationwide. The strategic communications mindset is something I can bring to Clare House. Finally, why do I want to work for Clare House? Well, everyone wants to work for an organisation where they can grow and contribute, but I think Clare House gives you more. Clare House appeals because it's clearly a dynamic, well-run and professional organisation. Furthermore, it also appears to be an ambitious organisation with plans to expand and grow its operation. And I'd like to be a part of that growth. 
Head of Communications, or Storyteller-in-Chief, is a role that will be integral to the growth and positioning of Clare House, both here in the region as well as nationwide. And I want to be a part of that. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.